Peter Jean Fay, can you summarize this year's Nobel Prize in Chemistry for us? Yes. It's about a new tool for making organic molecules. And it's, if I would summarize it in an easy way, what it really means, think about playing chess. And then you introduce a new player on the chessboard that has new rules. Well, that means that you can will think about the game in a different way, and you can execute the game in a different way. And that is the power of new methodology when it comes to organic chemistry. So think and do molecules in a way we couldn't do before. So there are new pieces and new rules. <laughs> yes, exactly. So or, organic catalysis is a new player, and then it is up to us who is going to use it to think about how can we use this new tool when building molecules. And if you had to explain this to a child like 10 years old, what would you say? I would say that think about, for example, the medicines that you take. Now we have an alternative to make them that is less harmful for our environment than it was before. So even for the whole planet, it will, it will be of benefit since it, when making molecules, it will be a lower impact on the environment. What, what actually was the problem that the Nobel laureates solved for 20 years ago? No, I don't think that you should look at it as if they are solving a problem. They are adding something to our toolbox. It's just like the analogy I told you about the chessboard. So you're not solving a problem, you're adding something. So whenever we're going to make a molecule, we have a new tool that we can use to think about how to solve this problem. And then this will be an obvious alternative. Catalysts have been used for about two centuries. <laughs> so how come this came so late? I think that sometimes it is like this, that the obvious answers or the obvious solutions or something just too obvious. It's right in front of us, but we don't see them. I mean, I'm an organic chemist. I'm working with small organic molecules every day, but I didn't think of it, but they are all around me anyway. So it was just too obvious, I think. And then what was very important, what this year's uh, low rates did, is that they explained it, they rationalized their findings. And the rationalization was so simple so it was immediately appreciated by the scientific community, which resulted in what is called a gold rush or an explosion in the area, because now everybody realizes, oh, we can do this, and it's easy to understand, and it's easy to design new things using this simple explanation that they provided. And this is about asymmetric catalysis. Yes. Can you explain that? It's like some molecules are just like our hands. They are both hands but they are mirror images of each other, and they are non-identical. And some molecules are just the same. One mirror image will have one effect, and the other one will have a different effect. One example is, for example, the molecule limonene that can be isolated from oranges and lemons. One of the mirror images smells like orange, and the other smells like lemon. That means that our bodies can differentiate between the two different mirror images. And the important take-home message here is that if our bodies can differentiate the smell of these two molecules, mirror images, then the same will probably be true for drugs that we take for diseases. And then it became, becomes important to be able to make only the mirror images of drugs that have the desired physiological effect and not the other one that can have another effect or have a non-effect. So you don't want to have both lemons and oranges? Exactly, because that doubles the, 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 uh, your exposure to chemis chemicals. So your body has to get rid of the non-active uh, uh, mirror image. And the, only, the, 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 the desired effect will only be of one mirror image. So you double your exposure, which of course is not good for your body. So in what way does this discovery influence us? It's influenced us that, <clears throat> I would say, in two ways. It has already a considerable impact in drug discovery, where we are making molecules to, to, in order to identify 
new potential drugs. There is already an active tool. And then, when we want to make a molecule, we have a new alternative. So before we had metal catalysis, we had enzymatic catalysis, and now we have a new tool. And when we are going to make a new molecule, we, we will evaluate which tool will be most efficient to solve this particular problem. And the more tools we have, the less environmental impact, the more efficient we will be. And this particular tool that we have now, asymmetric organic catalysis, that's a very powerful tool. So that will definitely have a, an environmental impact in the coming years. You mentioned also that it's environmentally um, uh, friendly, more friendly, more friendlier friendly, than, yeah. for example, metal catalysis, yes. What Why? Metals you have to get rid of. That's a waste. These catalysts you recover. And sometimes we are using uh, metals like iron that is okay with the environment, but sometimes we are using metals as catalysts that are not okay with the environment. Can we get rid of them and use, for example, organic catalysis instead? That would be a benefit for the environment. So where, where are they used now? I would say they are used not for production yet, because it's still early. But they are used in discovery. Uh, so for example, drug discovery and other discoveries in, in, in the industry and of course in academia. Uh, can you tell us something about the laureates? Did you talk to them today, this morning? We only got hold of Benjamin List and he was extremely happy. I've never heard anybody happy in, his whole, in my whole life. He was absolutely out of his mind. He's, He's uh, 56 years old now, and he said, oh, I never dreamed of this. Maybe when I was 80, I, I, I could perhaps get it, but now, oh, this is, uh, he was so happy. So he, you could really hear that he was flying on clouds when, he, when, he, when Jöran talked to him. It was a very great feeling. Can you tell us what makes you enthusiastic about this year's prize? Definitely. Uh, it is, as I said earlier, it's a game changer because it's an improvement that gives us a new tool, just like the chess game, that is very, very powerful. So I'm excited about this year's prize. And I think the analogy with the chess game is pretty, it's pretty clear because otherwise explaining organic synthesis, which this is all about, it's rather complex and it's difficult to appreciate for an outstander, but it is just like adding a new chess player that can move in different ways. So it's completely changing the game. So I'm, the, I'm working myself in organic synthesis, and I would say that this is definitely a game changer. It's super in my mind. Thank you very much, Peter Sonfai. It's a Thank pleasure you. to talk to you. Thank, Thank you. you.